I'm Katrina from Buzz and Dig, and today we're going to make a simple bee hotel. A bee hotel in your garden will provide valuable habitat for some of our native bees. It's a really fun activity to do with your kids. All you need is a clean can and some bamboo and a little patience. Let's get started. So for this activity we'll need a hammer and a nail, a piece of wire or you can use a piece of string, a clean food grade 400 ml can and today for me I'm going to use some pre-cut bamboo but you can also have a look in your garden when you prune maybe your passion fruit vine or your grapes just put some of those prunings aside, let them dry for a couple of weeks and you can also use them for a bee hotel. So what we need to do is get our can and we need to place two holes near the top and bottom. So hold your can firmly with your nail and hammer. Just quickly put those holes in. So you can thread your wire to make a handle. Now there's different ways to put the wire handle into your can. I like to thread it through the bottom first. Bring it up to the front and thread it through the top hole from underneath. This uh, makes sure my fingers don't end up inside the can. Just twist the two ends together firmly so they hold and place the knot towards the back of the can. And there you have your little wire handle. And we're putting a wire handle on because bees like to nest in um, a, the hollow stems when they're slightly on an incline. So if you're to place this against a wall or a wooden post, you wanna make sure you can angle it with the wire and make sure that the back end is slightly tilted upwards at about 10 degrees. Um, bees, like most insects, actually nest on an incline and that ensures that if it rains, that moisture is able to drain out of the can. So, next step, let's fill the can. So, just place the can on the table. Again, don't put your fingers inside, the edges are quite sharp. And you just fill it up with the bamboo materials. They'll straighten up once it gets full. And this is a really fun thing to do with the kids. You can make many of these for your friends and family as little presents. Pop them around in your neighbor's gardens and provide a habitat for our native bees. Now the bees that really like to nest in this type of bee hotel are called reed bees. Um, that's why we're using these canes which have that soft pithy white center. So I'm really nearly done here. I'm trying to fit the last pieces in to test if my bee hotel is full, which I think it is, I just want to make sure that all the filling materials won't fall out. And this ensures for the mama bee when she comes to look for the perfect place to nest in your garden, that it's not like a slippery slide. And there you have it. As I said, just place it somewhere facing really sunny. Um, about eye height is ideal. Put it near your vegetables and watch the native pollinators come into your garden. And um, yeah, there's a bee hotel.